Hey, what's up power users? It's been a while since I last made some videos about power apps, but now that I'm cleared up and ready to go, I'm ready to make some more videos for you guys to see. And for my next videos, so I, I've made, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 power apps videos, and they're pretty long. And that's kind of the industry standard right now on YouTube. Um, power apps videos, they're just <laughs> inherently long. Uh, I wanna make my videos a bit shorter so that you, know, you guys can really get through the videos really fast, but also follow the tutorial along as you can if you pause it, or if you you know slow it down a little bit, but I want to make the videos a bit faster so that you guys can understand um, and get through the content faster, so you can get back to your work and be more efficient. So uh, that's what I want to do in my next few videos. My next videos, I'll try it out. If you guys like it, let me know. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know, um, and also check out elinkin.com if you ever need Power Apps consulting or help. So since I want to make my videos longer, I'm just gonna jump right into it. So let's get started. So today I want to show you guys how to create a location saver. So if we're doing some field work at a house or something, we finish the job and let's say we're already recording stuff into our power app or maybe we're just making a new power app, but let's say we're recording stuff into our power app and actually now we want to add location data because um, if some something comes up, we can prove that this person that did the electrical data was at this location at this time at this date and you know, there's no question about that. So that'd be really helpful sometimes and you know, if you're keeping a straight even log of your jobs that'd be great too so on your power app you click submit when you finish the job and in addition to all the details on the job maybe your database is now going to record the person's location at the time they submitted the form and also the time and date ambiguous about the person's job so to do this it's actually pretty simple we're just gonna go over to SharePoint here and then I created a nice little list right here that has the first name location longitude location latitude and time the reason we're using location longitude and latitude is because power apps pulls locations longitude and latitude from the device and not you know an address or something so uh, if you guys want to translate the locations longitude and latitude into an actual address you're gonna have to use an API that's connected to power apps but that's not for this video that's for another video uh, longitude and latitude you can just copy those uh, coordinates and then you know post paste in Google Earth or something and it'll just go right on that address also so I have these four columns first name location latitude longitude time um, these three right here these first three are single line texts and then time is re uh, recorded in date and time format so make sure you do that and if you don't know how to make a SharePoint list or column if you don't know how to edit SharePoint columns, go ahead and look up those videos. Um, I'm sure there's many out there, but I wanna make these videos short for those people that already know how. So let's keep moving forward. So this is pretty much our SharePoint list. Now we're gonna go create that flow that's going to enable us to record the location. So go to create instant flow, and then let's say save location. You can name it whatever you want. We're gonna ask for stuff in Power Apps, and then we're just gonna go ahead and straight into a new step. Type in item so we can get faster to SharePoint create item. We're gonna create item. Search for the database that your SharePoint list is located in. Mine is an Intelica database. And then it's location underscore Henry. So title's just gonna be there because I don't know how to erase it from the list. So let me know if you know how. So we have first name. We wanna ask for the first name in Power Apps. We have the longitude. We do not want it to be first name here. So that's kind of weird thing about automate. It doesn't let you have that ask option again. So we actually have to search for it. So um, our longitude, we want to ask that in Power Apps too. And latitude, same thing. We don't want it to be first name or longitude. So we have to ask that in Power Apps also. Time, same thing, ask in Power Apps. Make sure you do that because it's really annoying sometimes how it doesn't show ask in Power Apps. But Microsoft is a big tech company and they're just gonna keep moving forward and I'm sure they're gonna fix it sometime in the future. So that's actually our entire flow and we're just gonna save it up. Our flow is good now, it's called save location. Let's go to Power Apps since we're pretty much almost done. Let's go to text and insert a text input for our first name. So text input is gonna be called first name because that's one of our fields right here, our columns. So it's called first name and then we want location, longitude, latitude, and time. You would think that we might put more text inputs but we actually don't because all these three, longitude, latitude, and time, we're pulling from the device. So we don't need to ask the user it. The only thing the user needs to put in is name. And maybe they don't even need to do that because we can just use a user function. But um, 
just for purposes, maybe maybe this is not first name. Maybe it's going to be details about the job, right? But for now, we're just going to use first name. So that's going to be the text input. Let's erase that default and then put in the hint text as your first name. There it is. Okay, your first name. And that's pretty much the only input field we're going to have right now. And you can have, you know, hundreds of input fields if you want. So we're going to go add a button. And this button is basically what's going to submit our data into our SharePoint list. So we have our button there. Let's rename our button to submit. And then we want to go to action up here. And then, you know, we want to connect this button to the flow that we just made. So we go to action power automate right there. And then let's find our flow, which is called save location. So I'm going to go to save location. I did this earlier with another one, by the way. So. Okay, so it put that save location flow into our button with this function pretty much. And then we just have to fill in the variables. And the variables will tell you up here, it says first name, longitude, latitude, time. So you have to do it in that order. So our first name is called text input one. Oh, that's not what it's called, but that's what it is. Our first text input right there. And we say first name dot text put a comma, and then we want the location longitude. So how we find our location from the data is pretty much, we just type in location, that's it. Location, and then it's gonna pull that information from the device that you're using. Even if you're using a computer, it'll pull that information from a computer also. So location dot longitude, and it's just gonna give that to us right there. And same thing for latitude, location dot latitude. That didn't work. Okay, location latitude, and then put another comma, and now we have time. So this, since this is in date and for, uh, date and time format right here in our Intelica database in our SharePoint list, it's in date and time format. So we can just actually just use the now parentheses parentheses function right there, and it's just gonna spit that out like that, and then one more parentheses to close it out, and we're done. That's that's how you do it. That's how we save the location data. So let's let's pretend we're field workers. We're we just finished our jobs, uh, whatever it could be, electrical, concrete, whatever, forms. Okay, I'm just gonna name it. You don't have to do this, but forms. Maybe not forms. Form. Okay, so this is our form. We're in our Power App. It's in our phone. You can download the Power Apps in the App Store. We're in our phone. We enabled location on Power Apps and we're on our phone, we've just finished our thing, and here we are, form, let's pretend I'm on my phone, this is my phone, and it says my first name, so I'm gonna put in my first name, Henry, and that's pretty much all I need, so press submit. Let's check out our database and watch it populate instantly, not instantly, but pretty fast. Henry, and then it gives my lo longitude and latitude location and my, the time that I submitted it. So now I can go back to this exact document five years later, and I know exactly where I was at uh, February 11th, 2020 at 12.09 a.m. Yes, it's 12.09 a.m. <laughs> but yes, it works great, guys. It works just great. And this works with any name. We can submit that. And maybe the first name is not, again, maybe the first name's not um, our first name, but maybe it could be details about the job. So let's pretend this column is details about the job. So finished work with no problems. Submit. So maybe this says details. So we just submitted that and it should appear here real quick. There it is, finish the job with no problems. Finish the work with no problems. So that's how you save location data and time data into a SharePoint list, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the short video format, and uh, let me know what you think. Have a great day.